graffiti, antisocial vandalism, or a modern and legitimate art form. Here at the Warrington Museum, an exhibition has been organised to showcase the very best in urban graffiti art. From Banksy to Black Lorat, this exhibition is hosting and supporting the pioneers in urban art. Unlike traditional canvas paintings and sculptures, this art form is undertaken in an urban environment, making it more accessible to the masses, but less aesthetically pleasing. Derek Dick, creator of the Urban Art Exhibition, shares his views on the art form and justifies why it should be hosted at the Warrington Museum. Well, this is actually the second exhibition. The first one we did was just basically lots of the uh, urban prints and some original work, but with no labels, just the titles and the, uh, the artist's names. And we found that a lot of people responded to them by, well, they didn't really actually understand what the paintings were about, what the prints were about, what the messages were. So this one, we've actually tried to have some explanation with the work, comparing it to historical paintings. Paintings that people you know, should be familiar with. So Lorraine Robbins comparing to Manet, uh, the Banksy Christ pictures comparing to other sort of pictures of Christ. So it's trying to encourage people to look at the graffiti art and the urban art and think about it a bit more, not just dismiss it as being graffiti or glorified graffiti, but think about it as being you know, another part of the history of art. But the best artist, I would say, is Black Lerat. I mean, we used his image, the beggar, as a, the promotional iconic image of a, what looks like a hoodie and looks quite threatening. But looking at the stories behind it, you know, he's talking about the homeless children in Paris. He's actually quite passionate about social comments and about the homeless people. He's worked in this country with uh, the big issue. He's sort of done charity auctions. So he's a really, really nice bloke. And he was the guy who actually influenced Banksy. A lot of people think they look at urban art and just see it as being glorified graffiti. Like some of the Banksy images on the walls, people just say, you know, a lot of the councils actually painted them out. I mean, Bristol Council actually painted quite a lot of his graffiti out. But now they're actually trying to rediscover it, so it's sort of stripping the paint back to try and find it. Urban art or graffiti art doesn't really exist, which we found out when we started to do this show, that the term urban art was actually invented by the press. There was a a whole series of artists whose work was actually related to the streets. So there's Banksy doing his graffiti. There was uh, Adam Neat, who did a lot of work and just left that on the streets for people to find. So it was you know, bus stops, cafes. And there's other artists, you know, like Black the Rat, who are talking about the streets. And Swoon, who's making social comments about people living on the streets. But no one really knew what to call this group of artists. They weren't sort of have a defined group or a defined name. So this, the press actually called it urban art and street art. So it's difficult to say how urban art or street art or graffiti art is going to continue, but I hope it does.